Okay, so I figured out what I've done wrong here. So uh, what we were trying to do is combine these two inequalities together to get uh, an inequality concerning these. So this bit is fine. What I've done here is I've taken this inequality, the distance between x and z is less than or equal to r, and I've said let's add to both sides the distance between z and y, and the inequality still holds true. What I've done wrong here is I shouldn't have done that. That is perfectly true, uh, but it's not very helpful. What instead I want to do is I want to add r onto both sides of this one. So from this inequality, I want to add r onto both sides, and they get that the r plus the distance between z and y is less than r minus h plus r. And sorry, this should have been h minus r here, because... Um, the, the ball was of radius uh, h minus r, uh, so um, the distance between z and y was less than h minus r if z was an element of uh, that ball. Uh, so uh, just replace that here with h minus r, which makes more sense uh, because we want the r's to cancel. Okay, so now what we can do is firstly we can say that this is less than h, so we just cancel the two, the negative r and the plus r there. And um, then what we'll do is apply the transitive property. So if this is less than or equal to this, so I'll get the colour pens out again, if this is less than or equal to this, and this thing here is also here, and is less than h, then we get that the distance between x and z, plus the distance between z and y, is less than h, okay? But, by the triangle inequality, um, the triangle inequality uh, up here, we know that the distance between x and y is less than or equal to the distance between x and z, and the distance between x and z is less than h. Now, by transitivity of the ordering, that implies that the distance between x and y is less than h, which is a contradiction because the distance between x and y is equal to h. Uh, so we have reached a contradiction. Therefore, uh, there could not have existed. There could not have existed a point z, which was an element of both uh, the ball, the closed ball, centre the x of radius r, and this open ball, centre that y of radius h minus r, which implies that for all z is an element of b, y, h minus r, so the uh, open ball centered at y of radius h minus r, z is not an element of the closed ball um, x r, uh, of center the x of radius r, which implies uh, that z is instead an element of the complement of this closed ball. So it's an element of the complement. So if it's not an element of that, it's an element of the complement, which implies that for all z is an element of this open ball, z is an element of the complement, which implies that this that this open ball uh, centered at, uh, oh dear, centered at, um, centered at y of radius h minus r is contained within the complement of this closed ball centered at x of radius r. Uh, which is what we needed to show, uh, because it now shows uh, that y is an interior point, and is an interior point of uh, the complement of the closed ball, so the complement xr, complement, uh, which uh, shows that, and since since y was arbitrary, y was arbitrary, it shows that all points uh, which are in, it shows that for all y is an element of b bar x. R complement, so the complement of this closed ball, uh, Y is an interior point, which shows that this complement, that this complement set is open. So, which implies that B bar, uh, the closed ball centre that XR complement is open, uh, and that implies that the complement of this set is closed, and the complement of this set is just B bar, uh, B tilde XR, so the closed ball center the x of radius r is indeed closed. So that is the proof uh, that uh, a closed ball is uh, that a closed ball is in fact open. And the way that we did it is we showed uh, that it's co uh, sorry uh, that a closed ball is in fact closed. I think I just said the closed ball is in fact open. No, that is the proof that a closed ball is in fact a closed set. And the way that we do proved it was that we took the complement of the closed ball and show that that was an open set and once we've done that we've proven uh, that uh, this closed ball is the complement of an open set which is exactly the definition of a closed set so the closed ball is a closed set.